so by now you must be familiar with the different trigonometric ratios for all the angles 0 degree 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees and you can easily make the table of all the angles for all the trigonometric ratios so let's look upon some examples of them so here is the first example and in this example we have to find the value of 1 minus 10 square 45 upon 1 plus tan square 45 now looking at the table we know that the value of tan 45 is 1 but we don't know what does this term mean so let's first understand what is the meaning of this term so basically any trigonometric function let's assume sin a to the power something is written let's suppose x is given to us so this will this is written as sin x a it means that this is sin to the power x angle a so basically this is nothing but it is written as tan of angle 45 whole square so we'll just put the value of tan 45 and square that value and get the result so let's we can write down this term as 1 minus tan 45 degrees whole square upon 1 plus tan 45 degrees whole square so this term has the meaning that this is the square of tan of 45 degrees now put the values looking from the table tan 45 is 1 so this will come out to be 1 minus 1 whole square upon 1 plus 1 whole square so if we solve this we'll get 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus 1 so this comes out to be 0 now we have to select from all the four options so a third option will be correct now let's look at our next example our next example says that we have to evaluate the value of this expression now i think you can easily find the value of this expression since we know the meaning of this term we can easily put the values from the table into this expression and find the final result so let's put the values this expression is 5 into cos this is written as cos 60 whole square so the value of cos 60 is you tell me cos 60 is 1 by 2 so this will be 1 by 2 whole square plus 4 into this is written sec 30 whole square so first we have to put the value of sec 30 then we'll square that value so the value of sec 30 is sec 30 value is 2 by root 3 so this will be 2 by root 3 whole square and this is a negative sign and this is tan 45 whole square so put the value of tan 45 tan 45 is 1 so this will be 1 whole square whole upon similarly put the value of sin 30 sin 30 is 1 by 2 so this will be 1 by 2 whole square plus and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so put the value again root 3 by 2 whole square now let's square and solve it so 1 by 2 whole square will be 1 by 4 and if you multiply by 5 this will become 5 by 4 so this will come to be 5 by 4 plus if you square this term 2 square will be 4 and this is under root 3 whole square so root will get cancelled so what will remain 4 by 3 and into 4 will be 16 by 3 so we can write down 16 by 3 minus 1 1 square is 1 whole upon 
square of this term will be 1 by 2 whole square will be 1 by 4. So this will be 1 by 4 plus again root 3 by 2 whole square root 3 square will root 3 will get cancelled out and what will remain will be 3. So this will be 3 by 4. 3 by 4. Now let's take the LCM on in the numerator. What will be the LCM? 4, 3 and 1. You can write this as 1 upon 1. So 12 will be the LCM. Let's solve this. We'll get 12 as LCM in the numerator. And here we'll get 5 into 3 will be 15 plus 16 into 4 will be 64 and minus 12 and if you look in denominator 4 will be the LCM so 4 will be the LCM and here will come 1 plus 3. Now if you calculate 15 plus 64 is 79 minus 12 is 67 so this comes out to be 67 by 12 whole upon in the denominator you will add 1 plus 3 is 4. So this is 4 by 4. This get cancelled. So a final value comes out to be 67 by 12. So basically we had taken this expression and put the values from the table into this expression and then calculated the whole expression and finally we got the value of this expression to be 67 by 12.